progress. Hi everyone, how are we doing? Just a thumbs up if you can hear me okay. G'day Lockie, Armstrongs, or Armstrong I should say. <laughs> how are we doing? Ava, how are you going guys? Talia, Fletch, Colton, excellent. All right, we'll get started with our warm up very soon. Thanks for joining me this morning. Oh, great to see so many of you in here this morning. Get some fitness in, get some skills in. Thanks. Work hard. Hope it's a beautiful morning out there. If you're uh, if you're outdoors, if you're near a hoop, that's terrific. Um, no, I'm just going to spotlight myself here. All right. Okay. So session plan today, a little bit different to last week. We're going to mix it up a little bit. We're going to build in a little bit more skipping. So hopefully you've got a skipping rope and you've got somewhere that you can do some skipping. Um, we're going to work through our, our core. We'll probably start with core. Um, after we do our warm up, we'll get into our cardio and we'll finish with our strength and power before our big finish. So same sort of setup, but a couple of different exercises for you guys. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. Uh, make sure you've got a drink bottle, make sure you have basketball nearby. Uh, and as I said, you need a skipping rope. So let's get cracking. Just adjust the camera so I can see everyone. All right, so no basketball for so the first part of our warm up. No basketballs. You will need a skipping rope, so get your skipping rope somewhere nearby. All righty, howdy. Howdy, everyone. Ready to get going on a Tuesday morning. Grab your skipping rope. We're just going to start with some really gentle skipping intervals just to build into the session, and we'll do some dynamic stretching. So if you don't have a skipping rope, Remember, you can just, on the spot, you're just doing your pogo hops, okay? So heels are off the ground and you're on the balls of your feet. If you're skipping, obviously you're skipping. Um, if you get bored of doing pogo hops, find a line in the concrete or carpet and you can just do line hops side to side, okay? Same sort of exercise. We're going to go three rounds of 30 seconds in three, two, one. Here we go. I'm off to the screen here because I've got a big parallel bar over my head to the left of me. So uh, uh, here we go. Just building it up. We're not going as fast as we can. Just nice and easy, nice and gentle for that first couple of sets of skipping. 10 seconds to go and easy. Three, two, one. Good. Okay. Just put the rope down next to you in this rest period. And we're just gonna do a couple of gentle quad stretches. So really quickly quad stretch, 10 seconds on each leg. And then we're gonna grab the rope again and go. Good. All right, grab your rope again. You go for another 30 seconds. Three, two, one, here we go. A little bit quicker. You guys can mix it up if you're a confident skipper. Okay, you can just be doing little, little jogs. You know, one foot, then the other. Okay, I'm just gonna start with two feet. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, good. Second one done, rope down. Just a gentle sort of a hamstring stretch. So when I do a hammy stretch, if I'm stretching my right hamstring, I like to have my left knee bent and I put my right heel on the ground. Really gentle, we're not trying to touch toes or anything just yet. We're just trying to warm up 10 seconds on each leg. Oh, all right, grab that rope again, three, Two, one, here we go. Another 30 seconds. Pogo hops in the rope. Good job, guys. Pogo hops, otherwise we're on the rope. We're picking it up a little bit now. Good, 10 seconds. Three, 
three, two, one. Good job. Okay, rope off to the side, not far away because we will be using it quite a bit. We're going to try and squeeze some skipping in between our, uh, our sets of exercise today. I'm just going to move my camera back a little bit. Can't quite see me. So we are going to, we're going to lean on the skipping a little bit, really build into some cardio and some game specific movements. Our last warm up or, or stretching exercise before we get into our core. So you will need a yoga mat. Just a really simple, I just want to, I want you to have your feet. I'll move back a little bit. Feet about a bit wider than hip distance apart. Okay, so a little bit wider. We're going to go arms up straight overhead. Okay, and with this one, I want you to control your breathing. Okay, so it's like a, like a hamstring stretch, but we're going to go all the way around the world. Okay, so we're stretching out our lower back and the muscles of our hips and our, um, our, our muscle, like a, a, the psoas, which connects our sort of lower body to our upper body. So we're going to go arms up high overhead. We're going to stretch out to our right hand side. And then as you breathe out, I want you to come down to that right leg. As far as you can, not too far, don't push it too far. And then you're going to loop, loop around and come back up the other side and finish up high. Okay. So we're just going sort of around the world. It's just a bit of a dynamic stretch to stretch out our hips and our lower back. We're going to go three times each direction. So again, control your breathing out at the bottom, breathing in as you come up. Okay, one more to the right. Breathing in as you come up. Okay, once you've done three to the right, three to the left. Okay, here we go. Breathing out, stretching over to the left. And breathing in when you reach that right foot. Back up to the top. All right, so we're really stretching out that lower back. And our hips and our hammies. Good. Last one. And come up. Excellent. One more stretch I'm going to do with you guys. I want to build in. We're going to do a little bit of more mobility. Okay. One more stretch. It's called, I call it the world's greatest stretch. If you Google it, you'll find it. I think most people sort of refer to it as the world's greatest stretch. Make sure you guys can see me here. And we're going to go into our core straight after this. Okay. So grab your basketball and grab your mat. You don't have to come to your mat for this stretch, but you can use your mat if you'd like. So for this stretch, we're into a uh, we're into a bit of a lunge. Okay, so we're going to step forward, step forward with my left foot first. All right, so make sure you've got plenty of space. I'm going to step forward with my left foot. All right, so I'm into like a high lunge position. So I should already be feeling that stretch a little bit. My left foot's forward. This one here should already be feeling that stretch a little bit in my right hip. Okay, what we do here now is we come down. We put our hands on the inside of our left knee. Okay, so what that looks like from front on is like this. So I'm coming down. I'm trying to keep that back leg straight, but if there's a gentle bend, especially this early in the morning, that's not, not a problem at all. So hands down in between. All right. We keep our right hand down. So our right hand stays to the ground. You can be on your fingertips or your palm. And we're going to twist and look up, try and point that left hand to the roof and look up at it. Bring that hand back down. Then from here, really gently, from here really gently, I want you to try and straighten that left leg a little bit. So you should feel a pretty intense hamstring stretch in that left leg. All right, and again, breathing through this. I'm talking a lot, but you guys should be breathing through this. Big deep breaths, come back down and then step back, okay? We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So that's our sort of Spider-Man. Some people, you might call it a Spider-Man lunge or a Spider-Man stretch. I call it world's greatest because of the hamstring as well. So now I'm stepping forward with my right foot. Okay. I've got that stretch in my left hip. Okay. I'm up on, I'm on my toe on my left foot. I'm going to come to the ground as best as I can, trying to keep my back as straight as possible, which I can't do a very good job of, as you can see. So I don't have great hip mobility. All right, so I've got my hands to the ground in between my right, um, next to my right foot. Now I'm going to twist, keep my left hand. So my left hand stays down. 
I'm going to twist and look up at my right hand. <sighs> Big, deep breath out. Rotating through your spine there. You'll feel that a little bit in that right glute as well. Come back down. Straighten that right leg gently for that hamstring stretch. And bring your feet together. Okay? Great work, guys. All right. Into our core. Taking a little bit longer with some mobility today, but I feel like that's important. Okay? It's important to break up our sessions so we don't get too much monotony. We're going to go into our core. We're going to do two sets today. Like I said, I want to make a bit more of a focus on getting some cardio in between our, our, uh, our, our exercises and our, and our sort of circuits here. All right, so I've got the computer down next to me so I can see you guys. So for our core, again, we're going to go with our toe taps. All right, our toe taps, that's a favorite of mine. We're going to mix it up today. So instead of a normal plank, we're going to go a side plank. All right, instead of a normal plank, we're going to go with a side plank. And then we'll finish off with our twists. Okay, so twice through, we're going to go for, we're going to go for 30 seconds each exercise. We're going to start with our toe taps. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go, down. So we've got our toe taps for 30. So we're coming up, tap, tap the ball to your toes. Tap the ball to your toes. Good job, guys. Great work, Sienna. Job, Ava. Oh, good work, good work. Good job, Leon. Talia, good. Job, Chelsea. Keep your arms straight. Keep your arms straight, good. Here we go. Three, two, one, ah, and rest. All right, so our side plank, bit of a new one. We're gonna do 30 seconds on either side. So we're, we're essentially adding another exercise. So with the side plank, again, there's, there's variations to this. You can have your knees down. So you can have your knees stacked on top of each other. You want to have your elbow on the ground directly underneath your shoulder. Okay. And your chest really square with, obviously I'm facing the camera. You might be facing the camera as well, or you might be facing the wall behind you, whatever. Okay. Or you want to stack your feet on top of each other for a little bit more of a challenge. Okay, and come up onto your side. So you want to have your hips, um, your torso, and, and every part of your leg, except for the side of your, I'm going to start on my right side. So the side of my right foot should be on the ground and my elbow should be on the ground. Chest pointing forward. That's how we get into our side plank. Okay, we're going to do 30 seconds on either side. Okay, so it's going to be a decent amount of work here. Here we go. Three, two, one. Up we come. So we're into that side plank. As I said, we're going to work through this a little bit today. We're only going to do two rounds of each circuit because we're going to do some skipping intervals in between. So we're still going to get plenty of work in. Whew. Oh dear, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, other side. So you can just spin around and face the other way. I'm going to just twist around so I'm still facing the camera and I can still see you guys. So now we're on our left elbow. Uh, left elbow, make sure you've got plenty of padding underneath that elbow because if you're on a concrete floor, it can be, can be a bit painful. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, come up. So all our weight now should be on either the side of our left knee and our knees are stacked or it'll be on the side of our left foot. Everyone's looking pretty good. What do we got? Okay, yeah, Molly, I can see your message there. Just do what you can, mate, okay? Don't try and uh, don't try and overdo it. Don't hurt yourself, okay? If anyone's got any injuries, any existing injuries or anything that they're, they're dealing with at the moment, don't overdo it in these sessions, okay? Three, two, one, come down. Good job. All right, in 15 seconds, we've got our twists. 15 seconds, we've got our twist. So grab your basketball again. We're going with our twist for 30. In three, two, one. Feet off the ground. Let's go side to side. Let's get a really good torso twist. Bounce that basketball either side. Good job, Chase. Good job, Kayla. Good job, Talia. Well done. Here we go. 
the halfway. What are you doing, Kobe? Typing me a message, mate. Or are you just watching everyone? Come on, get to work. Let's go. Here we go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. Awesome. Have a rest. And we've got our toe taps. We go through that again once more. And we're going to get up and do some skipping, all right, before we get into cardio. Really good. Get that heart rate up a little bit with our cardio in between. Let's get ready for toe taps. Grab your basketball again. Toe taps. All right, this is going to start to burn a little bit. In three, two, one. Here we go. 30 seconds of toe taps. Good job, everyone. Good job, Sienna. If you don't have your basketball, that's okay. If you just want to go touch with your hands, that's fine. Get as many as you can in in 30. If you have to rest, you have to rest. If you have to bring your feet down, that's fine. Roll the ball up your knees, just like a little sit-up. Just try and keep your, keep your head pointed at the roof. Try not to round your, your neck too much. Here we go. Three, two, one. Good job. Awesome. Okay. Side planks in 15. Keep your ball nearby. Oh. Side planks in 15. So get ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. Up into a side plank. Okay, so we're on our elbow. We're on the sides of our, I'm on my right hand side, so I'm on my right feet. On the side of my right foot, sorry. Good job, Sienna. Let's go, Kobe. You might need some more padding under that elbow, my man. Good. Try and stack your feet. If you can't stack your feet, you can have your feet separated like that. One foot forward, one foot back. That makes it a little bit easier. We'll come to your knees. Okay, come to your knees if that's, if that's a bit challenging. Here we go. Three, two, one. Other side. The other thing is to make sure that elbow is staying right underneath your shoulder. So some of you I can see now, Sienna, you're doing a little bit. That elbow's just, it's out here. Yeah, so you're coming up into a side plank. See how far that elbow is from directly underneath me. That's making your life so much harder. Tuck that elbow in a little bit more. Get it directly under your shoulders. So there's a straight line from my elbow all the way up if I was to point my arm. See how that's a nice straight line? A few of you have got your elbow out like that. That's making that really hard. All right, here we go. Three, two, one for 30. Here we go. Last one of our planks and we've got our twist. Hold strong, tight through your core. Good job, Ava. Can't see your scout, but good job, good job, Armstrongs. Or Armstrong this morning. Good, get those hips up. If you need to come down, have a rest. Come back up. Have a rest, we've got five seconds. Three, two, and one. Good job, come down, all right. Twists, grab our basketball. What are you doing, Matt? Come on, Matt. I see you walking past there, mate. You jump down. Won't hurt you. Reed's working hard. You too, Kylie. <laughs> Here we go. Twist. Three, two, one. Let's go. Side to side. Good job, guys. Good job, Xavier. Here we go. Smith girls. Killing it. Here we go. Fumble the ball. Good job, good job. Halfway, halfway, push it out. And we're gonna get back into some skipping, get the heart rate up. Core's nice and switched on now. 10 seconds. Side to side, side to side. Push, 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 push. Keep those feet together, keep those knees together. Three, two, one. Oh, good job. Everyone hop up. Oh boy. Get that mat. Don't toss it all the way away because we'll need it later for our strength. You can get it off to the side a little bit. Grab a drink if you need it. Grab a drink if you need it. Otherwise, we're into our skipping. We're going to do three intervals again. 30 seconds skipping with about 15 seconds rest. So hard and sharp with our skipping. Hopefully, you've got a drink by now. Three, two, one. Here we go. Straight into our skipping. Keep that skipping rope nearby today. You get a notice of steam is that we're starting to build that conditioning back up. We want to build that conditioning, making sure we're getting plenty 
plenty of reps into our legs. We go a little bit harder now. Get that heart rate up a bit before we go into our cardio. Good, good, good. Three, two, one, rest. So only a short rest. We've got about 15 seconds rest here. Another set. So we're going three sets. Two more. Three, two, one. Here we go. Second set. Let's go. Let's build that heart rate up. Let's get to work. There's no better way to start the day. Should be starting to get a little bit of, bit of heat going, a bit of a sweat going. Good, good, good. Get those reps in. Three, two, one. Rest. 15 seconds. We go again. Good job, guys. Hopefully you're working on your skipping in your own time as well. Three, two, one. Here we go. Build it up, build it up. A bit quicker. We'll grab a quick drink. And then we'll go into our cardio. Here we go. Halfway, halfway finish off. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. Good job, skipping ropes not too far away. It's part of our cardio, as you know. Oh, here we go, that heart rate's up, huffing and puffing a little bit. Grab a quick drink, grab a real quick drink. Couple of new, new exercises to go through. So, oh, yeah. I'm gonna use a couple of cones. You guys are gonna need your basketballs. First exercise is a lot of footwork. Yeah, we're building in some footwork. We're building in some game specific stuff, but it's also conditioning. So hopefully you've got a couple of markers, but it's not that important if you don't have markers. I'm gonna have two markers in front of me here. Okay, two markers set out in front of me here. They are my defender's feet, all right? So if you've done Zooms with me before, you know I love these footwork drills. Um, but it's also a great way to get some conditioning in with some ball handling, um, some explosiveness as well, okay? So I'm essentially simulating that there's my defender's feet, okay? My defender's in a defensive stance, and that's how they're going to be facing me, all right? So this first exercise, I've got my basketball, all right? Pretty simple, okay? I get to a triple threat, all right, I get to a triple threat, a jab step, okay, so I'm gonna start, I'm a right-hander, so I'm gonna start with a right foot jab on the outside of this cone, okay, so my jab step just has to get just slightly outside that defender's foot to help to make them open up, okay, and then I'm taking off with one or two dribbles back the other way. Okay, I retreat, and now I'm doing the other side. Okay, retreat dribble, okay, pick it up, Go again. So jab step, take off, retreat, dribble, pick it up and go again, right? So it's cardio, it's ball handling. We don't stop moving the whole time. You get a little bit of a rest in the sense that we're here into a triple threat. Jab step, nice and sharp jab step again from the side, what it looks like. We're low. Yeah, we're down low. The lowest player always wins. So we jab low, take off in the opposite direction, one or two dribbles. Okay, I want that retreat dribble. You can go a standard, you take off, you can go a standard retreat and just back up and get back to the start. You can get to here and you can go behind the back, okay, behind the back to create separation. You can go through the legs. Oop, you can go through the legs. I nearly crossed myself up. Okay, it's totally up to you, all right? Alternate sides, okay, so jab right, take off left, come back. Jab left, take off right. We're going for 30 seconds, all right? Then we've got our skipping. Then we've got our skipping. Then we've got our side-to-side -side shuffling, okay? There are three exercises, 
Short and sharp, but hard work here. Okay, good hard quality work. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Jab. Take off. Get back to the spot. Jab left. Take off. Here we go. Jab right. Good. Here we go. Let's get to work. Left. Oh, handles. Here we go. Jab right. Good. Work on your handles. Work on your cardio. Left. Good, good, good. Jab right. Your legs. Good. Mix it up. Mix up your handles. Jab left. Wrap through. Here we go. Get that retreat dribble in. Jab right. Good job, guys. Keep working. Here we go. Two more. Go. Two more. One to your left. Jab right. Take off left. Good. All right. Have a rest. Good job. 15 seconds rest. Grab, grab your skipping rope. We're going for 30 seconds in 10. Three, two, one. Here we go. Skipping for 30. Hit the wall behind me. Here we go. Skipping for 30. Do it at your pace. Build it up, get that heart rate up a little bit. Good job. Halfway. Three, two, one. Good job. Skipping rope down. Grab your basketball. And we've got our side to side shuffles. Okay, so side to side shuffle again. We're moving across the room, pushing off, moving side to side. So we're handling the ball the whole time. The ball stays, we don't bring our hand under the ball. The ball comes up and our hand is just on the side. That ball's just spinning in our hand. It's like a hesitation dribble. Like we're about to hesitate. Go into a jump shot, okay? We're not quite there yet. And see if you of you are keen to get going. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Push off side to side. Add a pound dribble in. High to low. Ooh, fumbled. High to low. Here we go. Push off. Good. Push off. Halfway. Keep working. 30 seconds work. We're back to our jab steps. Good job. Push off that outside foot. Explode sideways. Three, two, one. Good job. Whew. Heart rate's up now. Here we go. Get those cones. Get those markers. Get a quick drink if you need it. We're back into our jab step. Bend his feet. Oh, we've got our basketball. We'll bring that camera just a little bit closer so I can see you guys. Good. All right. Here we go. Grab that basketball. We're going to do our jab step, take off. Okay. So jab step, take off for 30. Three, two, one. Here we go. Jab right, take off left. Left, take off right. Good job. Jab right, take off left. Let's go pick up the pace. Jab left. Make sure you mix up your crossovers. Jab right, behind the back, through the legs. Just straight retreat dribble. Jab left. Okay, keeping, keeping your shoulders between the ball and your defender. Good. Here we go. Keep working. See everyone working. Get the heart rate up. For five seconds. And we're into our skipping. Last one. Good. Rest. Good job. Skipping rope. Skipping rope. 30 seconds.
We got it. Oh no, not in the skipping rope. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds, let's build it up now. We should have a real good sweat going, nice and warm. Working hard, let's go. Good, 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 good. Here we go, halfway. Keep working, keep that pace up. Good job, keep that pace up. <laughs> Three, two, one. Awesome. Well done. Skipping rope down, but not away. We know we've got some intervals in between. We've got 15 seconds now. We're into our side to side. Everyone grab their basketball. Good job. I can see you're all grabbing it. Awesome. All right, side to side shuffle. So this is a little bit, okay, this is some really good footwork stuff. Having to push off but be able to come from high to low, high to low, push off that outside leg. Okay, but add that ball handling in between. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go, push off, push off. Get that separation. Hang that dribble out a little bit. Test your handles. Get low with that crossover. Let that ball rotate, spin in your hand. Good job, Ava. Good job, Lockie. Push yourselves here, let's go. Good job, Jack. Get that separation. Try and get all the way across your screen. Work on that footwork. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Whew. Grab a drink. Grab a drink, we got some strength. Strength and power. Grab a quick drink. Going well. Strength and power, get your mat nearby. We've got skipping before we get into that. Three sets. Remember if you can't skip, if you don't have a rope, we've got pogo hops on the spot. They're a great way to just get used to the rhythm of skipping. And then you can add that rope in. If you don't have a rope, they're about two or three dollars and came, it came out online. Ask your mum or dad to jump on an order one and get one sent out. It's a really valuable tool to have in your kit bag for warm ups and things like that. All right, here we go. Skipping three sets of 30, 15 rest in between. Three, two, one. Here we go. Build it up now. Heart rate's up. Now we're working. We build into our strength and we finish off the session. Here we go. Good, halfway. Let's work. Get that rope speed up if you can. Less ground contact time. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. 15 seconds rest. It's gonna go quickly. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and go again. Let's go. 30 seconds work. Good job, Ava. Good job. Is that the Estes boys doing some pogo hops with some passing? I like it. Here we go. Keep working. Five seconds. Push here, push. Starting to get a bit fatigued. Here we go, three, two, one. Good job. Uh, one, one to go. Good job with the creativity there. Uh, it's not the S, there's who's doing some passing. Girls down the bottom there. Job, Kayla. Here we go. Last set, three, two, one. Let's go. Let's push it out now. Push it out. It's all right if you make mistakes. I tell you, learn. You're skipping, you'll stand on the rope. 
you'll you'll hit the roof over the top, you hit the wall behind you. It's okay. Build it up. Push now, five seconds, let's go. Three, two, one. Good job. Woo. Skipping rope down. Finish off, we got some strength. Got some strength and power exercises. We're doing some explosive stuff today. Grab a drink if you need it. Grab a drink if you need it. Okay. So exercises today. We've got our lateral lateral lunge with the figure eight dribble. Okay, we did that last week. So we're still using that one. So that's pretty simple. Wide, wide stance, nice wide stance. And we're just sitting into one leg. So if I sit into my right leg on figure eight, sit into my left leg. So if I take the dribbling out of it, again, guys, the dribbling theme is, or the basketball theme is here. So that we get a bit of a combo, a bit of a hybrid session, but it's pretty simple like that exercise without the basketball, or you could just hold the basketball at your chest. That exercise is just step out to the side, bend that right knee and sit back into that, that right leg, almost like a single leg squat. This left leg is just really here. That heels on the ground, that toes up. That's just there for support. Okay. Then I come to the other side, same thing. I really sit into that left, left quad. I got my right heel down, my right toe up and I'm sitting down. Okay, if you wanna add the dribbling to it, it's totally up to you. So the dribbling, you don't even need to do figure of eight. The dribbling could just be pound dribble, come across, pound dribble, come across. If you wanna make that a figure of eight, totally up to you. Okay, whatever you wanna do, I trust you guys, okay? So 30 seconds of that, our middle exercise. And again, dribbling doesn't have to be a part of this. We can just be holding the basketball. It's good just to hold the ball as well. Get used to it in our hands. The second exercise is our arabesque. We're gonna add an explosive element to it today. And this is one of my favorite exercises, as you know, the arabesque, because it's so dynamic. It can be a, it can be a warm up exercise for your core and your hamstrings. It can be a strength exercise where we load it and we talk more about tempo and slowly lowering our upper body down, feeling that that's tension in our hammy, or it can be an explosive exercise. So the way we make it explosive, we do the exercise exactly the same. So I'm on my right leg here, closest to the camera. I've got my left leg up. I kick my left leg back. Remember that left leg stays active. Okay, I put my chest to the ground, but then I explosively swing through and jump off that one leg, okay? So it's pretty challenging, but it's a really good exercise to get that explosiveness back into our hamstrings and lower body with a little bit of balance. You can even try and land on a single leg, okay? So we're gonna do 15 seconds on each leg of that one, okay? 15 seconds on each leg of that one. And then for our upper body, we've got our old favorite, our push up. So grab your mat. If you've got your mat nearby, grab your mat. We're only doing two sets of each exercise. So we'll get through these pretty quickly. We've got our push-up variations, okay? Here we go, we've got to get moving. It's nearly 10 past eight. I don't have trivia for you today, but I've got some riddles. So that should be good fun. All right, here we go. 30 seconds of our lateral lunge. Three, two, one. Here we go. So lateral squat, sitting into one leg and then the other. If you want figure of eight, that's fine. Try and get nice and deep in that squat. Really feel that in that working leg. Feel that in that quad. You should be activating your glutes as well. If you've got a figure of eight, awesome. If you're doing a crossover in front, that's fine as well. Here we go. Three, two, one. Good job. All right, 15 seconds. We're into our explosive arabesque. So I'm gonna tell you when to swap legs. I'm gonna start on my right leg in three, two, one. Here we go. So chest down and explode up and land. You might only get one or two on either leg. That's okay. If we're getting good quality ones, that's fine. It's quality, not quantity with this exercise. 
Last one. So three on each leg is about 15 seconds. I swap to your left leg now. So my right leg's up. I'm kicking my right leg back, keeping it active. Swing through and explode out. Kick right leg back. Swing through. Try and land on a single leg with balance if you can. Last one. Here we go. 15 seconds, we're down for a push-up. So remember, you can do this using the basketball. You can do it on your knees. You do it to your capabilities. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. I've got both hands on my basketball today. I'm mixing it up. Usually I roll the ball from hand to hand. I'm going both hands on the basketball just for something different. A little bit of a close grip push-up. A little bit more triceps. Here we go. Let's go, keep working. Should be able to get about eight to 10 push-ups in. And that's gonna get us to about 30 seconds. We've got about five seconds. Three, two, one, good job. Okay, lateral lunge, we've got one more set. We've got one more set of this, quick. Then we're into our uh, <laughs> riddles, <laughs> riddles today, not trivia. It's hard to come up with new questions every week. All right, here we go, three, Two, one, lateral lunge out to the side. Get that dribble in. Lateral lunge to the side. Get that dribble in. Sit into that hip. Sit back on that imaginary chair. So from the side, what it looks like is I'm sitting down nice and low. Sitting down in that imaginary chair, keeping my back straight. Challenging my dribble a little bit. Here we go, five seconds, three, Two, one, good job. All right, we've got our explosive arabesque. Finish with our push ups and then cool down. No big finish today. Explosive arabesque, I'm starting on my right leg. Three, two, one. Here we go. Kick that left leg back, keep it active. Load up. Here we go. I've got to wash my head on that bar up there. I'm so explosive. Here we go. Get three on each leg. Get three on each leg. Swing through, explode out of that position there. Good, I'll swap legs if you've done three. Kick that leg back, keep it active. Kick that leg back, keep it active. Good, here we go. Balance, good, three. Okay, here we go. Push-ups in 15. And finish off the session strong here. Get into some riddles. Something to test your, test your brain out. Three, two, one. Here we go. Let's get eight to 10 push ups. However, you're doing them. Do them on your knees. We'll do them using the basketball. Good job, Ava. That balance, working your core. Don't let your hips sag down like that or your bums up in the air. Keep it nice and locked in. Think straight line. Imagine there's a broomstick running all the way along from the back of your head to your heels. Okay, and that broomstick's got to stay pressed against every part of your body possible. Okay, if I do that, the broomstick's going to move. If I sag, the broomstick's going to not be touching my butt. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, good job, guys. Okay, grab your mats, grab your drink bottles. I know we're nearly out of time. If you've got to go, if you've got school, or you've got to get have some brekkie, get ready for school, go. I won't be offended. Otherwise, stick around to, for some world-class riddles. <laughs> and you guys you get a close-up of how sweaty I am. Oh, yuck. Okay, here we go. A few people ducking out. That's okay. See you guys. <laughs> they don't, they're not keen on the riddles. That's all right. Here we go. Riddle time. Let me know what you think of these riddles, Molly. I'm keen to get your opinion on these, your feedback. All right, here we go. Riddle time. Share screen, big fella. Ooh. Here we go. All right. Riddle, riddle. Tuesday riddles. Now, same thing again, a little bit with the trivia. Just chuck your mic on if you reckon you know the answer to these. Okay, same sort of rules. Give us a thumbs up. I can see you all. If you reckon you know it, 
chuck your thumbs up or, or give us a thumbs up in the camera. A couple of thinkers for you for your Tuesday morning. Here we go. Riddle one. What three numbers give the same result when multiplied and added together? Should be a bit of an easy one to get cracking, I reckon. Good on you, Adam. See you guys. See you, Smiths. See you guys. Does anyone know yet? Go, Kobe. You reckon you know it? Wait. No, nah, he's not sure. Nine? No worries. No worries, Summer. See you later. No, so we need Are three. We need three numbers. What three numbers give the same result when multiplied or added? One, two, three. Chase. One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. Pretty easy, I thought. Bit of an easy one to get us going. That's okay. So one plus two plus three is six. One times two times three is six, okay? Bit of a simple one. Here we go. Build them up. What kind of room has no doors or windows? What kind of room has no doors or windows? Now, remember, critical thinking. Think outside the box here. What kind of room? I know. Lockie, Lockie Durham, go on, Lockie. You, you are the absolute trivia master and, and riddle master. A box. No, no, not a box. Lockie, I it's thought you had that one. You're very confident. Zach. Anyone else want to have a go? Zach, Zach do you know it? Does your it's dad know it? <laughs> it's a mushroom. Mushroom. A mushroom. Well done. Good job, Luke. No parental help here, please. <laughs> no worries. See you later, Jody. See you, Harrison. See you, Connor. If you've got to get going to school, get going, guys. All right, last one. I have a tail and a head, but no body. What am I? Coin. Sienna, is that your hand okay. up? Coin. Yeah, it's yeah. a coin. Yeah. That was too easy. Oh, I've got to make it a bit harder. The mushroom one was good. Mushroom one had a few of you stumped, but the coin was too easy. All right, I need to do my research. All right, guys, thanks very much for today. Thanks, Appreciate Jared. you all joining. Jared, watch us. Thank you. Stay strong, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Jared. Thank you, Jared. Thank you. See you, Hannigan. Yeah. See you, guys. See you, Jenkins. Legends.